Okay, just doing a quick video review of the Exxon Vendetta Evo jacket. Um, I got this in from Motostorm in Italy, um, which I highly recommend as an international uh, retailer. They ship usually via UPS in um, like three business days. It's re really easy. Um, and they give you coupons for your later purchases. Uh, so the one downside is I ordered this in a, a what they list as a 2XL, which is the, their size chart for Exxon is really weird, or Exxon size chart is weird. Um, and I'm five foot ten, um, about 195, 190 pounds, 43 inch chest. And usually I get worried with um, European stuff in size up. So I went with a 2XL and you can kind of see like, there's a lot of space here and here on me. Um, so I should have gone with a just an, an XL, which is, I'm an American large usually. So an XL would have been one size up. So just for your sizing, um, Look at the size chart. I think it's at 108 centimeters, so about a 44 inch chest, 43 inch chest is the max. But there's so much stretch material in this jacket, which I'll show you as you go around. Um, if you wanted to order one, I, I would uh, definitely consider, even if you're close to the cutoff, staying a size down. Uh, okay, so first things first, uh, through the front, you've got micro perf everywhere, and it is like the good laser uh, perf, kind of like Danese does, so it's all the way through. There's no um, leftover material. You've got the stretch material here at the front, which is uh, really nice. Again, um, this is made to work with their integral uh, airbag vest. So you have actually kind of like how Alpine Stars has been doing for a while with their Tech Air Race stuff. Um, you have lots of extra stretch panels all over this jacket made to have it still fit well uh, and, you know, not hurt you if, it, if uh, the airbag expands. Um, so you've got the stretch material here and just since we're at the front, uh, right behind it, just to kind of keep um, things off your your uh, belly, you've got a little bit of 3D mesh here um, to assist. The interior otherwise is, is pretty simple. Uh, you do have the same 3D mesh in the back uh, protector pocket, which is really nice. Um, again, this thing is coming at, in at, um, I think after shipping 470 US roughly, um, which you, you don't get that 3D uh, back protector material in a lot of jackets these days. Donnezzi used to do it more and other kind of stuff. Um, all right, so just to zoom in here, um, what you've got is kind of like how Alpine Stars is doing a lot of their high-end suits. Um, you've got a Kevlar infused overlay over the critical forearm seam, and then you can see some perf here. You have a nice um, accordion stretch panel here, more perforation over some foam. And then the kind of the really cool thing here is you can see this is a single piece of stretch material from the cuff all the way up around the shoulder, um, which I haven't seen anybody else do, inc including the underarm. That's one piece of stretch material. So you have no seams for comfort and you this whole shoulder is almost floating from here on out. So you have a lot of mobility. Uh, and as you can see, it's quite loose on me again because of that. Um, you've got a little Exxon shoulder slider here. Uh, it's actually a little bit of, it's a little bit soft, so you got a little extra impact protection. And then um, shoulders, uh, shoulders and elbows, you have um, Italian BTAC level one um, soft armor. That's quite nice. It's the same like GP level stuff Alpine Stars and the other brands use. Thumb loops, uh, YKK auto locking zipper. Um, and then on the sides and back, all of this accordion stretch you see, to include the bit here to give you mobility as a two-piece, that is all perforated. Um, you just, you, in my, you don't see that barely at all in most brands. So to get that in again at this price point is, in my opinion, quite remarkable. Otherwise, you've got some uh, little adjusters and then uh, the race hump itself, as you can see, is fully ventilated and the top uh, has 3D mesh running across. So if you're in more of a tuck, you'll get flow right through and out your back. Um, so yeah, all in, I think at the price point, you're getting a hell of a deal. Um, really good quality suit. All the seams are either covered or rolled. Um, AAA certified in, this, in the new CE test norms. Um, and it's, it's pretty good. Just watch your sizing. Just a few close-up items here really quick. So you have this really nice low pro profile color as you saw. And behind it, you have neoprene, uh, except for the back, which is just the stretch material. But it's it's extremely lightweight and comfortable. You can saw you saw in the other video that it, it's basically doesn't even touch my neck at all. Uh, you can see the 3D mesh here behind. That's the whole uh, back protector pocket, which um, even if you don't use it, is still nice and, and gives you um, some extra spacing. Although 
Otherwise, the innards pretty simple. You got a couple little pockets hiding in there. You got chest protector pocket, or uh, excuse me, you have uh, hand warmer pockets here. Um, nice little TPU branded pull. Uh, elbow sliders, removable, replaceable. Uh, for those of you who are much better at riding than the rest of us, as I said, a little bit of like 3D mesh. This is a total flow through, um, small, you know, it's like sporty hump. You got extractors here, perforated leather here, tons of perf. Again, this is all perfed all through here and across here. So it, this is absolutely one of the most, uh, and also on the back of the arms. Uh, so you just have micro perf everywhere, top of the shoulders. And then you can see where that stretch material starts. So it starts here and it goes in one piece all the way around. Um, just a hell of a lot of jacket for the price, really well made. Um, and I, I wish I'd gotten one size smaller.